Come in, Carla. Come into the nut house. Hello. My Hello. name is Barney. <laughs> Barney. <laughs> Hello. You come to see Janus. You come to see Janus. You finished. Oh, power's out. Oh, to get that fixed. Oh, it's back on. Not surprising though, with his car. Oh, no, surprise! What this car? Good thing the hospital's got its own backup generator. But no. Remember, Janus's cell is down the second corridor on the right. One of my colleagues is waiting to open the cell for you. Oh, on the left, you say. I'll be watching you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Thank you, Barney. Down the corridor on the left. Creepy. I wasn't sure exactly what I expected to find out by coming here. Wow. Kane was the killer. Wow. There's no doubt about that. Wow. And yet, wow. I needed to know just what. Oh, I think I've been drinking a bit too much. What? 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 Oh no, the lights gone out. Ha! <laughs> Ha oh, ha! I gotta run away. There's no light. It's not. Ah, oh, it's okay. The light's back on. I can go back down the hallway. Oh, oh hello, Mister. Excuse me, Mister. Chopped. What? Whatever it's called. What is it? Mutton chops. Is that it? Mutton chops. Aha! Oh, I found cards. Let's try this way. No. Hello, detectives. Hello. I'll wait for you here. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Adios. I'll I'll just go in by myself. Yes. In here. Alone. By myself. Where a serial killer is. Oh, it's okay. It's tied up. Oh, kinky. It's that bloody point in that. Are you comfortable, Mr. Anderson? It's very comfortable. Oh, I'm happy to see you too. I think not. I'm sad. I farted. What is all this stuff? Sort of spiral drawn hundreds of times on the wall of the cell. Is this a Why metaphor? Is, by this symbol? is this a metaphor for how you feel? I do feel like your life is spiraling out of control. Do you feel trapped within these walls? Bored with nothing to do? He's clearly got nothing to do. My question is, with all these spiral things, how does he um, put them on the wall? Because it's kind of like tied up. You know. Hello. Want to hold hands? No? Okay. Good evening, Mr. Anderson. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti of the New York Police uh, Department. That guy just left. I'm all by myself. Oh no. I'd like to ask oh, no. you questions, if it's all right with all right, you. Alright, fine. Alright. I'm sorry. Mm, tell me about visions, Matt. I read in your file that you often had um, visions of some sort. Would you like to talk to me about them? Why have you gone to the trouble of coming to see me, Detective Valenti? How does he I'm know who I am? Mad, you know. What I have to say is. Meaningless. Isn't that right? You got a lot of drool on your face. Maybe you're not sick. Maybe it's that no one has taken the time to really listen to you. A man and a woman. In a laundromat. She's a little overweight. Hispanic looking. Him. Oh. He has a knife planted in his eye. Oh, he's very How good. How do you know that? He's I very good. Wow. I can see through. Eye. Oh, that's amazing. Every one of the murders. Every single one? There. Really? Who? Who is the murderer? Nobody knows. Ah, disappointing. Nobody sees him. He leaves no trace in people's memories. But I know. I know he exists. He's among us. Invisible. He's everywhere. Is there a ghost? And you, Anton, why did you kill that man? I didn't kill anyone. Oh, well, wrong question. Instrument. I hear his voice in my head, and I see the blood. Always, always. Ah. <laughs> it has to stop. <laughs> but why are these killings happening? 
I don't understand. Oh, the world's not what you think it is. No. The Orange Clan has secretly done everything. Orange Clan. They're watching us, listening to us all of the time. All they the time. They what you say. They know what you're doing each second of the day. They're really? everywhere. Stay your teeth. How is this connected to the murders? They want ultimate power. They want the answer to Stay to his neck. Life. They want to be eternal. You okay, man? Is he okay? Is he going to be okay? It's already too late. We're all going to die from the cold. It'll be the dawn of a new race. The end of humanity. <laughs> You okay, Bully? The end of you. That neck call is looking a bit tight. Would you like me to loosen it? Oh, that's fine. I'm sorry, I have to go, but I will visit you. I'll come visit you. Hmm. I'll come, I promise. I'll come visit. Hello. Uh, I'll, hello. There we go. Hello. I promise I'll come visit you, okay? I'll come visit you and maybe loosen this collar a bit. It looks a bit tight. I'll loosen it for you. Maybe these cuffs. Maybe I'll just loosen everything on the chair for you. I don't get how you paint on the walls when you're trapped in a chair. It's amazing how you do it. Maybe you can uh, teleport furs out of that chair and move about like a ghost. Maybe you are a ghost. Hello. You look really sad. You look really upset. Angry. Is it because I'm leaving? I don't have to leave. I can stay. Oh, oh, there we go. I can stay. Nah, I'm going to leave. Creeping me out now with that stare. Fucker. <laughs> Bye. You can look at my tushy as I walk away. Everything go alright? I'll walk you to the... Damn it. This time it looks serious. Yep. Uh, it looks to me like our backup electrical generator hasn't kicked in. Uh -huh. Come on. Sometimes it takes a minute. We'll wait here in the meantime. Ah, uh, the dog. That noise? Oh my god. Oh shit. Yeah, the shit. Cell doors. All of the cell doors have been opened. The electrical outage must have screwed up the auto lock system. Oh my god. What? Why would you use such you a system? Mean the patients are free to leave their cells and nothing. Wait. Don't move. Don't make any noise. What? We They're all gonna to come out. Here. Just keep cool and we wait for the lights to come on. Get up. ready. Relax. Stay close to me. Ah. Move. Move. The aide. They got him. I have to move from you or they'll find me too. If I don't breathe more calmly, I'm gonna faint. And then I've got they less. get me for sure. Oh god. Hurry. Can I not look about? Bullshit. Come on. Come on, lady. Come on, Carly. You got this. It's all right. I'm guiding you. I'll guide you to the exit. I won't let anything bad happen to you. Come on, you got this. Oh, no. I hear one coming. Oh, 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 oh. So close. Please, Carla, don't move. I'll stop moving. Oh, can I go? It's okay. It's okay. Keep moving. So, uh, it's we're almost there now. Uh, didn't I? Shouldn't I be turning left? I've got this. It's all right, Carla. We're almost there now. He's right there. What the fuck? Where did he come from? Hello, Mister. <laughs> oh, hello. He's going away. Well, come back. I can keep moving. You got a fat ass. <laughs> Wanna be friends? Come on. Come back here. We can be friends. How's that? Uh, I didn't mean what I said. You, you, uh, you're really healthy, you. Really athletic. Athletic and stuff. My god. Is he, is he playing with his belly button? <laughs> The hell? That's how everything came to an end. Uh, what? I couldn't uh, control my fear. Uh, what? What? Ended what? Up killing me. What was I meant to do? I'd never know what really happened in that East End restaurant. Try it again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! I can't move. I didn't know I could aim. <laughs> I can't. 
Oh, okay, that's alright. I got this. Turn left. Remember to turn left. <laughs> Remember. I need to be turning left. It's around here. Oh, oh hello. He's Don't say anything. He's okay. going. Shh. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. I can go. <laughs> Keep moving. It's down here. How can they not see her? That's what I don't get. Oh. He's right there. Hello. Blanky twat. Fuck off. He's going away. I can keep moving. There we go. I bet they've done that on purpose, you know. <laughs> oh my god, now what? We have to get ready. Come on, let me out. Get ready. Go on, get me out of there. Oh, thank God you made it out. I don't know what the hell could have happened. The auto lock system opened all of the cell doors. Are you gonna get them back in their cells? Are you sure you're No, I'm not fucking alright. Great, Barney. I feel great. I love playing hide and seek in the dark with a pack of psychopathic killers. Barney, you twat. He did that for purpose. I know he did. He turned off the the power and opened up all the doors. That's what I believe. Museum! Room closed, no admittance. But I got to get in. This man I'd barely seen on TV was my last hope. I didn't know what connection there could be between the Mayans and... Please help me. You're me. my only hope. At that point, I was ready to accept any explanation that could make sense out of the nightmare that my life had become. Hello. Hello, uh, I'm a journalist, and I have an appointment with Professor Kiryakin. The professor's waiting for you. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> That's all it takes to get into a museum. I might try that. Oh, what's this? Feminine figurine found on the Pacific coast of Guatemala. Okay. Oh, I see it. I, I see it. There we go. Not entirely sure what they're for. How's that? Can I read it? No. Solid gold chalices and plates. That's not good. Probably used during sacrifice mm, ceremonies. Yes. From Compesh. Mm. What's this? Circular altar that was probably used in sacrifices. Probably. Early post-classical period. He sure knows a lot about all this stuff. Huh? Facade of sacrifice. How did they get it here? Origin, Yucatan. So what? They just like picked it up and brought it all the way here. Head of statue representing Isama. Discovered in Chiapas. And then we got a chair. Oh, maybe I could sit down. Polychrome tripod seat. Origin? Mexico. Mexico! Or fire exit. Or fire exit! Takes me outside. Stone stele from Palenque. Post classical period. The wool headed snake. Ah, so that's what he's got on his forearm. This fresco. A two headed serpent. The same shape that I carved on my forearms the mm. night of the murder. This guy knows something about it. Circular altar that was probably used in sacrifice. Oh, Grizzla. Early post classical period. Said that. Let's go talk to this dime bag. Yo, Rav. Professor Kiryakin? Yes. My name's John Cunningham. Ryan. We spoke on the phone. I'm a journalist. I'm there, and I'm not gathering information for an article I'm writing about the mine. I'll, I'll call it bullshit ah, on all of yes, that. I've been waiting for good, a good man. Hell, 
what um what paper did you say you write for once again? Uh freelance invent. Uh, in fact, I'm a freelance journalist. I write articles and sell them to whoever wants to publish them. It's uh, it's curious, but your face seems familiar. To um, me. Uh, have we met somewhere before? Let's make a jock. Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, I guess I must have one of those boring faces everybody sees everywhere. Well then. Let's uh, have a go at it. Have a go at what? Where would you like to start? We could start on. Can you tell me anything about the sacrificial chair? Of course. Chair thing. Come, I'll introduce okay. you. Can I read this? What's that thing there? The size of it? It's a totem. Okay, we start over here. You see before you the ancient Maya oh, no. Quagnitlan, the serpent with the. Yes, I see it. One head sees in this reality, the second in the other. That's not all, that's... By opening both mouths, the Mayan oracles could see through the wow. serpent into the other well, uh... world. Thoughts. One serpent with two heads, face to face. Hmm. The same image I cut into my forearms. Tell me about other worlds. Could you explain this other yeah, world? Yeah, it's other world. It's like the Matrix. Or the world beyond the like. throne. The kingdom of the gods and the dead. The Mayans believe that human sacrifices allowed them to hear the voices of the deceased and see into the future. That's a bit crazy. What exactly do we know about these oracles? Oh, not very much. <laughs> they were very mysterious. They served as mystic liaisons, allowing man to connect with supernatural forces. If we can believe the ancient texts, the oracles possessed uh, strange powers. Oh. What kind of powers did the oracles possess? Some passages mention a supernatural life force permitting the oracle to live for several hundred years. Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Come, I'll show oh, okay. you. Oh, okay. Well, literally, you're gonna show me. Oh, metaphorically. <laughs> you're gonna show me literally? You're going to what? What? You're going to let me stab a knife into your heart and kill you? Or what? You tell me a story. This painting, uh, dating from the first century, Shows a sacrificial ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. And the priority being to keep the mouths open as long as possible. The victim was stabbed three times, each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. Hmm. The oracle is not the one stabbing the victim? Oh, the oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy, another person in the crowd, totally at random. This person becomes the executor. The ah, oracle so that's what's happened to him. control of the executor, manipulating him from a distance. What happened to the executor after the sacrifice? He went mad and committed suicide after accomplishing his part of the ritual. A Mayan sacrifice. That's what it was. You aren't a journalist, are no. you? Who are you? Uh, tell the truth. My name is Lucas Kane. The police are looking for me about a murder that I did not commit, but I was the executor. You're a murderer? I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I'd never seen before, three times, cutting his arteries, just like you described. Do you mean to say that there is a Mayan oracle still living today? But, but that's completely impossible. Um... Have you ever seen this symbol before? Oh, 
It's the symbol of Quetnitlan. The executors cut this into their own forearms before accomplishing this. Exactly, that's what I just said to you. So, it is. <laughs> you just believe that? Fucking hell. Right, God. <laughs> the codex. Could have told him I shit out daffodils. The Sneeze out glitter. Promise. You can't stay here. Your picture is in the paper that the security guard is reading. He's sure to recognize you. Come, let's leave here. And I'll tell you all about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're not gonna bum me, are you? <laughs> You're not gonna bum me. <laughs> you might do, you never know. Thank you for your help, Professor. I don't trust him. Oh, I just saved his life. Nice one. Those bastards. What the hell? Oh my god, I thought I had made a friend. No, you killed my friend. It's alright. Ha! How did I fail? I did not fail. This is how my story No, ends. it's going to continue. <laughs> Thank you for your Try not to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah rescue them. Go on. Come on, I got it. Oh my god. What the fuck? This is how my No, story it's is. going to continue. Thank you for your help, Professor. Keep out, keep out, buddy, keep out. Come on, keep out, yes. Get rid of Oh, metric style. Fuck yeah. Great. We made it. Oh, now there's more. Run. Jump! Great! I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Why are you just walking around casually? Get the fuck out of there. Professor! Fucking gods. The Codex speaks of the coming of a child. A prophet. The answer to all of life's questions. <laughs> the Oracle. Kills to find the child. <laughs> ah, thanks for telling me that. Before he died, very helpful. Oh, the fuck was that? Is that him? Is that the killer? 